Alright farmers, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about oats so if you're playing with the seasonal crop calendar on we'll have a look at it there so you're going to plant in March and April and then harvest in July or August now if you're not playing with the crop calendar on they're going to grow in 5 months time so this is quite a quick growing crop for you so that all depends on what setting you've got on the go so the next thing up we got is our field here we've got it fully prepped so that's been mulched ploughed fertilized limed fertilized again cultivated and then all the stones removed now that's how i do it and i find it the best for getting the mesh out of your field so as you can see in the bottom right hand corner there we've got 100 percent fertilization now obviously that's just how i do it you do what you want to do that's entirely up to you so the next thing you want to do is go grab a tractor with a cedar on right so we've got our cedar we've got it full of seed so the cheapest option for seed in the shop is going to be the big bags so you've got 800 for a thousand liters now obviously you can go down the road of the multi-fruit buying silo but this is the cheapest option from the shop and also in the shop you've got the cedars so we're going with oats so that's the third icon from the left so anything that's got that icon on you can use to plant your oats and as we've seen in other videos i'm going to use this lemkin because i like this one it's my favorite so far in the game right so we're at the side of the field gonna to want to do l b and a to unfold it if you're on xbox like me so that puts the sides out obviously depending on what cd you've gone for depends on what animations it needs to go through so then once it's unfolded like so we'll press lb and b to lower it and we'll make sure that we've got the right seed on so we've got lb and y there it says select seed we've got oats selected if you haven't already got it just press the y cycle through until you've got the oats so that's what we've gone for so we do lb and x to turn it on and then we'll just drive into the field so you see the change in texture there so all you need to do is go over the field and make sure it's all covered so i'll do that and i'll see you at the end right so once you've got your field seeded you're going to want to get yourself a roller so if we go into the shop menu again and down to rollers any one of these would do the job for you so i've gone for this dalbo power roll 1230 hd because that's i find the easiest one to use so the same with the cedar l b and a to unfold it you're going to want to use a roller after you've seed it, seeded and that will give you the best possible outcome when combined with the prep that we've already done so once it's unfolded you then l b and b and it will lower it down you haven't got to turn it on with the roller once it's down you can just get cracking so then just drive over your field you can see a slightly different color there to the texture so it's quite difficult to see depending on your angle so just keep an eye out for that but what I'll do the same with the cedar I'll go over the whole field and I'll see you at the end right so that's the whole field seeded and now rolled now for me for the current setup I've got I don't need to do anything else the only other option you may have depending on if you've got it turned on or not is weeds so I've got them turned off because I don't particularly like them but if you have got weeds on you need to keep an eye out because when they start emerging you're going to want to either use a weeder to get rid of them or you're going to want to spray them with herbicide if they get a little too big so what I'm going to do now is fast forward a bit and we'll see a bit of growth on the go right so we're now in july and you see in the bottom right hand corner there we've got growth ready to harvest so what i'm going to do i'm going to go and jump in at my harvester right so we're at the edge of the field now ready to go so we've got a harvester so if we go into a shop harvesters there you're looking for that oats icon so the third one from the left so any harvester that's got that icon on you can use so i've gone for this vent here because i just think it looks ace so anyone that's got the icon you can use and you're also going to need a header with it 
So again, any icon that's got that oats icon, any header that's got that oats icon with it, you're going to be able to use. Obviously, you're going to need to match up to which harvester you've gone for. So the smaller the harvester, the smaller the header, but obviously the smaller the budget. So depending on how much money you've got, depends on which one you can go for. So I've gone for this little setup with the fence here. So first up, we're going to L, B and A to unfold the harvester. So that's going to put the pipe out the back. It's going to open up the grain tank on the top. And then once that's done, we're going to do L, B again and X. It's going to turn it all on. It's going to lower it down and we can drive straight into the crop. Now oats is the same as barley and wheat in which sense it gives off straw. So we're going to leave it on the swath option. So we're going to collect it up later. You can use that for bedding or you can make bales and then sell it off at the shop if you want to. So I'm going to crack on and get this field done and I'll see you at the end. Right, so that's the feed, that's the oats harvested. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get it unloaded into a trailer and we'll go through the options of what you can do with it once you've got it all off the field. Right, so your first option is going to be selling the oats as the crop. So if we go into the store menu there and we've got the best price is Goldcrest Valley at 1469 for a thousand litres. Now that needs a train. So I've already done a video on that, so go check that out. So for the base game sell points, the next best price is the cereal factory at 1387 for a thousand litres. So if you come down here and we'll just go around the side of the building here to so that onload icon and you pull over and you'll get the prompt to unload like that. So you just R, B and L, unload and then that'll sell your grain for you. Now what you can also do down here as a second option, if you own it. So if you come up to the blue spanner and press L stick in, it's going to cost you 110 grand to buy. You can put that into the cereal factory and you can add a few more bits in and you can make cereal with it. So that's an option for you. So what I'll do, I'll go to the next point and I'll see you up there. Right, so the third option is going to be another production chain. So we're up at the grain mill. So if we jump out, we'll go over to the blue spanner again. I'll stick in. It's going to cost you 96 grand to buy. So what you can do with that is you can... Oh, stuck on a cart. If you go over to that blue icon there to unload, you'll put the oats into the grain mill and you can turn it into flour. So obviously putting it into either the grain mill or the cereal factory is going to get you a better price at the end of it. Once it's finished processing. Obviously that's entirely up to you. Any of the processing units can be used as a standard sell point if you don't own them. So that's the third option. So I'll meet you back at the farm for the last one. Right, so the last option of what you can do with the oats once you've harvested them and I put my teeth in is you can feed horses with them so I've got this little pasture here so if you go in the construction menu like so and over to animals and down to horses you've got the option there of horse pasture horse barn or horse barn large so any of these that you have your horses in you can feed them oats so just like the sell points and the production chains you go over to that blue onload icon it will give you the prompt R, B and Y and then you'll load in. So that's going to feed our horses if we've got them on the go. So that's everything to do with the oats once you've got them off the field. Now like barley and wheat you do get left with a straw swath. So what do you want to do with that? Right so with the straw you can get one of these loading wagons and you can pick it all up and you can use it as bedding for your animals for the cows, horses and the pigs not if you've got the pastures they need to be in the various barns that come with them so what we'll do with this we'll do LB and B we'll lower the pickup and then LB and X and we'll turn it on we'll just drive over the straw swath and collect it up in the back like so and then you can go and take that to your animals or you can take it to a sow point if you want because if we go back into the shop menu and go down to straw 
it would give us a price for it. So there you are, 104 at the Animal Dealer and 101 at South Valley Biomass Energy. Now the other option that you have got with the straw is to turn it into bales. So if I come round here and get our baler, we'll get it hooked off and we'll start creating the bales. Obviously you can do exactly the same as you can with the loading wagon. Feed it to your animals, lay it down as bedding or sell it off at a sale point. Entirely up to you. So we'll pull up, we'll unfold this one. We'll then lower the pickup, turn it on, and then we'll just drive over the straw swath and it'll start collecting it up and putting it into a bale. Now, depending on what you want to do, whether you want to do bales or whether you want to do the loading wagon, it's all the same. It just basically comes down to how you transport it all. So, some people say it's easier using the loading wagon, some people like doing the bales. It's entirely up to you. So, once it's all loaded in, and the bales are done they'll just come out the back on this one as this is a square baler if you've got the round baler you may need to open it up to drop the bale off but once it's all loaded in the bale will come out at the end and that is it you see there if we come around the back the bales coming out nicely and then we're done we're done with oats so there you have it that's oats for you Drop it in the comments below what you're going to be using it for. Are you going to be doing oats? Are you going to sell them off? Are you going to run a production chain? Are you going to put it into your horses? If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.